Good early afternoon, Dean D. Davison, LiveWeatherBlogs.com, student meteorologist here with your uh, early afternoon severe weather update and outlook um, for today, which is Friday. Taking a look first at the uh, the probabilities of severe weather today, we have a warm front and cold front, and multiple low pressures running across the area up here in the uh, upper upper Midwest down here through parts of the Northeast right along where the jet stream is and when, when we're in that area we're having uh, watches pop up for severe thunderstorm watch in the western parts of New York um, currently that's the beginning of where some of the severe weather will go into the radar in one moment where that's starting to become severe with a few warnings also we have to watch down here in Florida with the landfall of Bonnie isolated tornadoes can be expected during the landfall of tropical systems. Here's a look at the SPC's uh, percentage uh, tornado outlook, um, areas where the tornadoes will be most likely, and this is because of disturbances that are running through the atmosphere and the jet stream um, that will cause this. We have a t the, the best area is up here in South Dakota with 10 percentile. These 5 percentiles also seem to give off a few tornadoes a day and then a two percentile for a lower isol more isolated risk, but there's two areas um, this afternoon that are more um, get more development of tornadic activity, and that would be in the South Dakota area, South Dakota, North Dakota, um, parts of Iowa and Minnesota area. Also, with the watch here, north of New York, New York City, and north northern New Jersey, northeast from Pennsylvania, there's actually an area that of probability which the shear profiles to actually get um, possible tornadoes to spin off and also down here with Bonnie like we just talked about. And just looking at the uh, jet stream map you can see I mean at the uh, surface map you can see where these disturbances are. One out here near Nebraska, one out here near New York and like I said this is going to kick in and this is why there's an area I would be looking for higher risk of severe weather would be in these areas right in the general area. Um, it's because you're near low pressure set, low pressure centers, and they give you more rotation in the atmosphere closer you are to them. And so, there's the reasoning why you might see uh, a higher probability of tornadic activity in the areas. While that's going on, you have high pressure pumping in massive amounts of heat into the southeast and parts of the plains. And you have Bonnie down here, which is going to re-enlarge itself into the Gulf of Mexico. We'll go into that in a minute with the latest track. Taking a look here at our visible satellite loop, um, you can see how this has kind of gotten a flare of thunderstorms in the last hour, in the last frame. You have thunderstorms actually flare up over land more than they were right before landfall. So it's kind of interesting. The low, uh, we'll stop this. Uh, we'll stop the loop. In the center of Bonnie, right in that general area, um, with this, the actual central dense overcast around the actual western side right now, and it's also refiring on the eastern side. So this may or may not downgrade to a depression in the next um, the next advisory board, but it should regain tropical storm strength as it gets back out into the Gulf of Mexico and heads its way west-northwest and northwesterly fashion. Look at the latest radar. This is generally your area of center, center circulation. You have your area right along the center circulation with the strongest uh, showers and thunderstorms, and that would be to the southwest of Everglades City. I would say the center is really close to Everglades City, um, Florida, and it's between there and, and Miami, and it's moving in a general direction to the west-northwest and should re-emerge back over the ocean sometime this evening. And taking a look from the from the uh, landfall spot, you see we have tropical storm warnings all along Florida and all the way up south of Sarasota. And we also have tropical storm warnings in effect from um, to the east of Pensacola all the way around into Louisiana. And you can see New Orleans is in the actual cone. 
and it actually uh, is an area that's very close to where w we may get a landfall when this reemerges. It's the Hurricane Center saying tropical storm at landfall. We don't know where we'll be at uh, winds. I, I would think probably if it gets its act back together, we can go anywhere from 55 miles an hour um, to, to close to hurricane strength. I think that'd be fair to say. An actual, uh, if it gets itself back together and it continues to try to intensify. You also got to remember this is the oil slick area, and this is, and there's lots of oil sitting there. We we still do not see the effects of what will actually happen when a tropical system goes over this kind of oil. But I guess we will see the effects um, rather shortly, and BP has suspended all their operations out there, so everybody will be getting out of the way of of Bonnie until it passes by. Um, but like I said, anybody that's living along the Gulf Coast should monitor the storm. Um, we don't know, you know, the strength is still uncertain, you know, that there's still the upper level low and, a, and another high kind of like squeeze playing with, um, and if one lets off a little bit, it may be able to get, regenerate some more energy. So we'll see what happens over the next day or so as it reemerges into the Gulf of Mexico. And as you see here, the heat is on here in the eastern part of the United States. This high, this uh, high that's off Bermuda High is generating a lot of heat in uh, most of these areas. Very high heat. Virginia, North Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky, Arkansas, Alabama, and Mississippi, Louisiana. Highs are between 95 and 100. Washington, D.C., Baltimore. Roanoke, Raleigh, Charleston, Atlanta, just to name a few cities, Nashville, Memphis, St. Louis. These are areas that are having extreme heat. Heat advisories or heat warnings have been in effect for this area and will be in effect throughout the parts of the weekend as this is going to go into the weekend. So if you, if you are in these areas, you need to be getting hydrated, not going out when it's extremely hot and you know wait until the evening to do your the activities that you may have to do um, some people can't get away from working out in this heat so if you do hydrate yourself very well this is an extremely dangerous heat situation um, as we keep getting these heat waves let's take a look at the forecast for the greater Roanoke Valley this afternoon hot and humid 97 degrees is your temperature um, 97 to 100 I would say. Tomorrow, 98 degrees is the forecast high in Roanoke. I would also say 100 wouldn't be unreachable. 95 on Sunday, 90 on Monday, and finally it looks like we're going to start cooling down and drying out. Um, 89 on Tuesday, and beyond there we're getting into the mid 80s by Wednesday. So, let's just get through this hot weekend we're coming up here. Uh, this might be a good time if you Go to Smith Mountain Lake if you're here in Roanoke Valley or uh, somewhere to stay cool, um, get some water, and try to enjoy yourself some other way other than being out in the hot, humid atmosphere that we're going to have this weekend. For the latest information, stay with LiveWeatherBlogs.com. We'll be with you for the latest information on Hurricane, I mean, Tropical System Bonnie, Tropical Storm Bonnie, excuse me, um, and this heat wave and the severe weather that may occur this afternoon. All you have to do to get to, to generate and watch these other blogs from our over our 65 meteorologists is by going to www.liveweatherblogs.com. And when you're there, you'll see your breaking weather news up here in the, up in the corner. This will be your latest um, blogs that are written by our over 65 meteorologists. Also, um, anything that's of significance will be in this in this section here. And if you can also go up to the top and it says meteorologist blogs, um, click on that, go to general blogs, and you can just read a bunch of blogs written by us and our meteorologists here at liveweatherblogs.com. For now, this is Dean D. Davidson signing off. Student so meteorologist, liveweatherblogs.com. I will have more information later today. It's severe weather ramps up. And also, stay with me for tonight for the Live Weather Blogs Overnight Edition. Have a great day and stay cool.